the current $1.98 kilowatts per hour has now increased to $2.14 kilowatts per hour for the 2024-2025 financial period. The chief executive officer of ECB said initially Nampower submitted a tariff application for an effective bulk tariff increase of 14,59% for both generation and transmission tariff. The requested adjustment would have resulted in a bulk tariff increase from $1.98 kilowatts per hour to $2.17 kilowatts per hour. Robert Kaimisi said they conducted an external and internal review process and considered a detailed analysis of the tariff application submitted and financial impact on Nampower, among others. In view of the above detailed analysis, Nampower's revenue requirement was adjusted downward from 8.4 billion for the period to 7.9 billion Namibian dollars as the outcome of the ECB internal review process. Now I move over to the outcome of that internal review process. After due consideration and in accordance with the ECB tariff review process, the ECB resolved to adjust the non-power bulk tariff to 8%. The application, as you might recall, was 14.59%. ECB board resolved to adjust the non-power bulk tariff by 8%. This adjustment changes the average tariff from the current approved rate of $1.9856 per kilowatt hour to $2.1444. Per kilowatt hour for the period 24-25. The primary factor driving this tariff increase is the rise in the cost of electricity generation, particularly the expenses associated with imported electricity. Ports, including any possible forecasted trading on sub. It's around $1.75. So everyone can see the price of imports on average significantly higher. That's 23.24. The imports for 24.25 will increase to around $2 on average. That gives us an average generation tariff that was $1.2425 that will increase to $1.3449 on average for the period that we, are, that we have reviewed. In addition, all distribution utilities are urged to apply for their annual tariff review before end of May 2024. Utilities that do not apply for tariff adjustments in time to coincide with the implementation of the bulk tariffs, which is effective 1st of July 2024, will lose revenue because they will be selling electricity based on outdated tariffs while purchasing on new tariffs, especially prepaid revenue that is collected through prepaid sales. The above practice by distribution utilities is not financially sustainable and it affects their financial ability to honor non-powers bills and other creditors and it further affects service delivery. The approved bulk electricity tariff will be applicable to non-power bulk customers. Jolana Fuka, NBC News, Bantuk.